Darren. Are we on? I just know I nearly drifted off there. Are we on, Trev? Are we on? Welcome everyone to this glorious summer's day here in the north of Sweden. It's um, I don't know, Trev. What do you? How, how hot do you reckon it is right now? Bleed not. Bleeding hot. Okay, bleeding hot. Uh, very technical. Thank you very much. I would say, if I'm going to put a number on it, uh, I would say it's at least 23, 24 degrees, and it's only the morning. It's only going to get hotter. Beautiful day. So what we thought was we'll get out from downstairs, from from, from Beer Sweden HQ, come outside, expose ourselves a little bit, and try some um, summery beers that have just been released within the last hour. Actually, this is current stuff, Trev. This is very current. Within the last hour of the September Lager. And we've got them here and we're going to crunch away through them. Now, I'm being quick, I'm talking fast, I talk fast anyway, but I'm doing it particularly today because we're going to try and do three, count them Trev, one, two, three beers in under 10 minutes. Beer Sweden Trev hasn't got any faith in me, doesn't think it can be done, I think it can. So we're going to go crashing straight into the first one. Trev, is this a gusher or is it a gusher? Can you see that? Zoom into that little one here. Very interesting beer, this one, people. I'm going to pour it up. It's called Invit. Uh, gives you a little clue as to what it is. It's a Belgium wheat beer, white beer in style. Have a look at that, perfectly true to form. A little bit cloudy, quite pale-like colour, uh, yellow sort of colour, golden colour there. Beautiful with a rather sort of bleached uh, white head. Now this comes from our good friends at uh, Oppigords. Uh, which is one of my, I have to be honest, favourite uh, microbrewers in this country. Very consistent, always pumping out very high quality um, beers. It can never really go wrong with Opigords, a bit like a broken record I am. But this one's different because this one's actually been brewed by someone who won the 2009 Swedish home. Do you like the hat, by the way, Trev? No. Do you like that? Uh, was won the Swedish 2009 Home Brewing Championships here in Sweden. And part of his prize was to actually get to brew his beer, you know, at a proper microbrewery. Uh, Oppigord um, was the was the brewer that um, um, uh, that he chose or, or, or offered their services, should I say? And here it is now, finally in the in the bottle. Um, so this is a pretty unusual one. Um, now wheat beers, to me, fantastic summer beers. And this has got an awful lot of what you expect in a Belgium white beer. This is spiced with coriander, getting a lot of that. It's also spiced with uh, pomerantz, with bitter orange. And again, on the nose, very clear that those two things are there. Ooh. Spicy, quite clean, quite kind actually. A little bit too warm. We've been sitting here in the sun, maybe a little bit too long, Trev, already. Warming up a little bit, but I tell you what, this is incredibly refreshing stuff. Uh, wheat beers, whipped beers really right now are my summer drink to be honest with you. They're a particular favourite of mine right now and this really does tick the box. Another great beer I would suggest from Oppigold. Um, what am I going to give it in terms of marks? Uh, three and a half Trev, three and a half. I think it's a very solid beer that one. I'm going to come back to that one. You're not allowed to drink it afterwards. Okay the second beer we're going to try, if you want to zoom into this one, from our good friends over there in Chico in the United States of America. Okay, Sierra Nevada. What can I say really, it's from Sierra Nevada. Go and buy it. Quite frankly, I don't think I've ever drunk a dud. A bit like, really, the sort of US version of Opigolds. Um, pretty much never put a, a foot wrong. This is an interesting one. Uh, never had this one before. It's the first time I've actually tried it. Um, it is called this Glissada. Glissada, which is actually a verb, Trev. Did you know that? And it means to a uh, controlled descent like from a mountain or something like that. You could do it on snowboard, never heard of it before. But the idea behind it is that this beer actually slides into your, into your palate, slides over it. Um, it's a Bocking style, which is a German style of beer. And basically, do you like the hat, Trevor? I mentioned the hat. Rubbish. Um, uh, it's German, by the way, do you see that? What did I say? Yeah, oh, I see, right. Um, uh, it basically uh, is a Bock style, which is a lager style, uh, from Germany, basically what they used to do was at the end of the, well say autumn, when all the ju hops were juiciest and the ingredients were at their best, they used to make a beer and then they used to lager it over the winter um, and they used to drink it about this time of year in the spring. Um, so this is a slightly stronger uh, uh, lager, I think it's 6.4%, I'm not quite sure, 6.4% I see at the top of my head, um, and it's uh, quite unusual because it uses no American hops in it. So what we've got some very European hops, we have uh, some German uh, Magnum and Pearl hops um, and then we have uh, a little bit more German uh, Spalter hop and a couple of Slovenian hops even get slammed into this one. 
So you're getting this rather old world style nose to it. Very untypical, should I say, of Sierra Nevada. I gave that a whirl, Trev. And straight away, lovely stuff. Very quite, um, quite obvious bitterness to it. I think it's 42, 42 international bitterness units and I'm getting that straight away. Uh, but you've got a lot of sort of um, um, uh, orange going on there. Um, not so much tropical fruit, but more sort of orchardy sort of fruits. Again, I think this is a, a reference to its European origins. Um, again, a little bit too warm for me right now, but this is again a, cla a, a really solid beer from Sierra Nevada, um, and, and something that I can see being a very, very uh, barbecue. Um, it's quite strong, it's, it's got enough to carry off pork on the barbecue. Um, chicken would go incredibly well with this, something like a lemon chicken or something like that would go very well with this. Look at the colour of this thing, can you look at that? Isn't it attractive? It's a very pretty, um, slightly orange tinge to the whole thing. Uh, good stuff, great beer. Again, I'm leaving that there and I'm coming back to it, Trev. Um, how long we got? How are we doing? Are we doing all right? About four minutes We're going to do it, aren't we, Trev? I think Trev's slightly, he's probably a little bit disappointed that I'm going to be right again. Put money on the it, he didn't. Third, the third beer that we're going to try is intrigues me, I have to be honest. It's from New Nesh Hams on the Ruguri. Um, it is uh, in one of their very cute uh, 250ml bottles that they've started releasing. Um, it is called uh, Draget's Canal Double IPA. Uh, so it's an American uh, uh, inspired double IPA. I recall, I haven't got the glasses on Trep, 7.7% alcohol. Someone's mowing the lawn. Uh, this is live as it happens. Um, and I think uh, this is actually uh, packed uh, with um, some of the classic American hops. Have a look at this. They get much darker in colour, this one. It's much more sort of auburn, uh, fox fur sort of colour to it. Um, you've got Chinook, which is a classic American. You've got uh, Cascade. You've got Amarillo. And there's another one in there that I'll be honest with you, I know nothing about, called Savinsky. Uh, which I hear tastes a little bit like um, lemon dish uh, dishwashing liquid um, and a little bit, just a little bit of root vegetable sort of character to it. But it sounds very nice, does it, Trev? Nope. But it smells gorgeous. Lots of tropical mango and all that sort of stuff going on. A little bit of sort of brown sugar notes to it as well but incredibly rich and sort of velvety and luscious stuff. Glorious. To me, actually, in terms of beer, probably my favourite of the three. Very thick, uh, quite light in terms of bitterness, even though this beer has actually been filtered back through a, uh, through a hot bag with extra hops in it. So really you've got this very intense Hockey nature to it. Look, Trev, can you go and sort him out? Oi, sling your up. Can you go, look, we're, you know, we're trying to do, we're trying to drink beer here. <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, it has to happen, doesn't it? It has to happen to us. Someone's actually streaming around the side of their house. Uh, Trev, we we'll go and sort them out, I promise you, after this, uh, this film's been rolling. So there we have it, people. I think we've just about managed it, Trev. Three beers in under 10 minutes. Uh, we'll come back to the uh, new releases, uh, the other new releases, a little bit later on. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go back to, well, have a little doze, I think, actually, uh, in my sun lounger. Uh, so until next time, everyone, cheers and beers. <laughs>